how Pep Guardiola can get the best out of Jack Grealish and Kevin De Bruyne. A double Mazzala would allow De Bruyne and Grealish to interchange in the left-sided channel, creating one of the most creative left-sided attacks in Europe. However, using both players as false eights could also get the best out of both players. But what is a Mazzala, what is a false eight, and have I been playing too much football manager? For cheap good quality football jerseys, retro jerseys and tracksuits go over to www.jerseyfever.com, a link will be left in the description and use code ALANTISFOOTBALL for 5% off. So against Tottenham on the opening day of the season, we saw Guardiola start with Grealish as an advanced playmaker, ahead of Gundogan and Fernandinho in a kind of 4-2-3-1, which would become a 2-3-5 in position, with Grealish and Gundogan and the false nine Ferran Torres between the lines of the Tottenham midfield and defence. When De Bruyne came onto the field in the second half, we saw Guardiola shift Grealish out wider to the left, using De Bruyne as an advanced central midfielder on the left, which was the role that Grealish was being used in prior. But with De Bruyne and Grealish Guardiola's two best players in my opinion, what system and where in that system will De Bruyne and Grealish be used throughout this season? So we all know that Guardiola loves a false nine like Sigerson loves an under 16's disco and I could see Pep Guardiola move into a false nine system with it looking increasingly unlikely that Harry Kane will make a move to Manchester City with Jeff Bezos reportedly also priced out of a move for the Tottenham striker by Daniel Levy which would leave just Gabriel Jesus as the only striker in the Manchester City squad. De Bruyne was used as a centre forward in the false nine role throughout last season and I think using him in that role again with Grealish playing as an advanced central midfielder on the left side of him could be a fruitful way to get the best out of both players. De Bruyne is a lot more versatile than Grealish in terms of where his best output comes from, whereas Grealish is best when playing on the left side, from where he can move inside onto his right foot and either play a reverse pass in behind the back line or get a shot away if he's around the box. However, instead of a false nine being used in a 4-3-3 as we have seen Pep do before, I would use a 4-4-2 or a 4-2-3-1 with Grealish and De Bruyne playing as players between the lines of the opposition system. Grealish and De Bruyne could alternate roles, with sometimes Grealish being the player to start high and drop from the forward line, and in doing so dragging the centre back with him and opening up space for De Bruyne to make a run into, with Grealish doing the latter when De Bruyne is a player dropping and dragging a centre back with him. Both De Bruyne and Grealish are very good at making runs ahead of the forward line, so this system could get the best out of both their playmaking abilities and their goal scoring abilities. So a Mazzala is a centrally advanced midfielder who is given the freedom to drift over to the flanks and become almost a temporary winger. I would say that both De Bruyne and Grealish are perfect examples of natural Mazzalas, just Grealish operates best from the left side and De Bruyne from the right side. But by double Mazzala, what I essentially mean is an interchanging Mazzala role, with both players operating in the same channel. That would be on the left side as I think it suits Grealish a lot better than on the right and De Bruyne is versatile enough to function on either side. What we would see in this system would be either a 4-3-3 or a 4-2-3-1 most likely, where one of the two would sit in field in the half space, with the other wide on the left side, and from here they would be given the freedom to interchange, make under and overlapping runs and link in the channel with the left back behind them. I think this use of Grealish and De Bruyne would work best when the opposition can press the centre of the field but leave space for City out wide, or if the opposition's right back is isolated, or a weak link in one-on-ones, in which case switches of play could enable City to isolate the opposition's right side, with two of the best creators in Europe there to take full advantage, as we have seen with Grealish's shooting ability from that left side. The double Mazzala on City's left could also be a good option due to their lack of a clear elite left sided attacker. Yes they have Sterling and Foden, but Sterling is not an elite progressor of the ball in terms of his dribbling, and he isn't on the same level as Grealish and Kevin De Bruyne for chance creating either. He's much more of a goal scoring attacker than a creative one. Foden is a lot more rounded than Sterling, and is a better player in my opinion, but his left footed direct winger style wouldn't suit an overlapping left back, whereas Grealish and De Bruyne coming in on their right foot would benefit from Mendy providing the penetration in behind, and so I think that using a double Mazzala would not just get the best out of Grealish, but also the best out of Mendy, who is far more suited to that overlapping attacking fullback role, rather than as an inverted fullback. So the double false eight is not one, but two false eights. Now what is a false eight? Well it's not really a thing, but it has been used to describe the role of central midfielders in Guardiola's traditional 4-3-3s, who push up high between the lines of the opposition system, rather than playing as eights who naturally sit in front of the midfield line, hence why they are referred to as false eights. If Guardiola was to use Rodri as a deep single pivot in midfield with Grealish and De Bruyne ahead, he can move to a 2-3-5 shape in possession, which is his preferred possession shape, and use the inverted fullbacks as a defensive security to allow both De Bruyne and Grealish to operate in the half space, with a false nine between them and the two wide attackers holding the width out wide. 
This would allow both players to play as Mazzalas on either side, with Grealish in that left-sided channel linking with Sterling and Mendy, with De Bruyne now operating on the right side, where his crossing ability can be used as a very good attacking weapon for City's attacks. So overall, I think depending on the opposition, Guardiola could use all three of these systems that I've discussed. Without a recognised centre forward, using De Bruyne and Grealish as alternating false nines could be the best option against sides who have centre backs who tend to follow centre forwards deep and therefore would leave space to run into. Whereas the double Mazzala system may be best against sides who congest the middle of the pitch and therefore targeting the left side with quick switches of play could be the best way of creating chances and the double false eight system is best when City's attacks are going down both sides, preferably against back fours as this will mean the space between the full backs and centre backs will be greater, allowing Grealish and De Bruyne to make those underlapping runs between the defenders on each side. So thank you for watching, if you enjoyed that video remember to subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications, go to the description to check out some of my other videos as well, give the video a like, put your thoughts in the comment section and follow me on Instagram and Twitter for more content as well.